What are statistics? Statistics are facts and figures. Consider some examples. The largest earthquake measured 9.2 on the Richter scale. Men are at least 10 times more likely than women to commit murder. One in every eight South Africans is HIV positive. By the year 2020, there will be 15 people age 65 and over for every new baby born. Statistics rely heavily upon the calculations of numbers, but statistics also rely heavily on how the numbers are chosen and how the statistics are interpreted. And sometimes, the interpretations are problematic. Consider some examples and try to identify a major flaw with each interpretation. Here you see a picture of some delicious ice cream. Consider that a new advertisement for Ben & Jerry's ice cream introduced in late May of last year resulted in a 30% increase in ice cream sales for the following three months. Thus, the advertisement was effective. Question, are there any problems with this logic? Yes, a major flaw is that ice cream consumption generally increases in the month of June, July, and August regardless of advertisements. This effect is called a history effect and leads people to interpret outcomes as a result of one variable when another variable, in this case one having to do with the passage of time, is actually responsible. In a second example, I would like you to consider the relationship between churches and crime. In fact, the more churches in a city, the more crime there is. Thus, churches lead to crime. Question. Are there any problems with this logic? Yes, a major flaw is that both increased churches and increased crime rates can be explained by larger populations. In bigger cities, there are both more churches and more crime. This problem, which we will discuss in more detail in a later chapter, refers to the third variable problem. Namely, a third variable can cause both situations. However, People erroneously believe that there is a causal relationship between the two primary variables rather than recognize that a third variable can cause both. As a third example, I would like you to consider the number of interracial marriages that are now occurring in our society. The proportion of interracial marriages this year is 75% higher than it was 25 years ago. Thus, our society accepts interracial marriages. Question. Are there any problems with this logic? Yes. A major flaw is that we don't have the information that we need. What is the rate at which marriages are occurring? Suppose only 1% of marriages 25 years ago were interracial, and so now 1.75% of marriages are interracial. 1.75 is 75% higher than 1. But this latter number is hardly evidence suggesting the acceptability of interracial marriages. In addition, the statistic provided does not rule out the possibility that the number of interracial marriages has seen dramatic fluctuations over the years, and this year is not the highest. Again, there is simply not enough information to understand fully the impact of the statistics. In sum, statistics are not just facts and figures. They are more than that. Rather, statistics refers to a range of techniques and procedures for analyzing, interpreting, displaying, and making decisions based on data. Statistics may be the single most important subject matter that you ever study. This is because throughout your entire life, you have been and will continue to be inundated with research statistics and findings. These are just a few examples that you might have encountered. People tend to be more persuasive when they look others directly in the eye and speak loudly and quickly. Women make 75 cents to every dollar a man makes when they work the same job. A surprising new study shows that eating egg whites can increase one's lifespan. 79.48% of all statistics are made up on the spot. Although some of these statistics are not true, you can see from this list of examples that statistics are ubiquitous. They are everywhere. They are in psychology, health, law, sports, in business, and in every other discipline. 
statistics are often included in reports to add credibility. This is easily observed watching any of the major news shows. Many of the statistics presented to you in your life have not been, are not, and will not be accurate. These snappy numbers are often easily accepted and mislead people, especially people who are not informed about research and statistics. It is extremely important to understand statistics because statistics influence which findings you are going to believe and which findings are going to influence you to make changes in your life. The first step to being a consumer of statistics will be to question the statistics that you encounter. The British Prime Minister, Benjamin Disraeli, was quoted by Mark Twain as having said, There are three kinds of lies. Lies, damn lies, and statistics. This quote reminds us why it is so important to understand statistics. From now on, don't just blindly accept numbers or findings, but look carefully at the numbers, the sources, and most importantly, the procedures researchers use to obtain their findings. But just as important as detecting the deceptive use of statistics is the appreciation of the proper use of statistics. You should be able to recognize situations where the statistical evidence strongly supports conclusions. As you think more about statistics, you will become increasingly aware that statistics are all around you. Mm -hmm.